Rui Hachimura is the first Japanese-born basketball player to be selected in the first round of the NBA draft. He is an icon and an inspiration to a whole nation and has the potential to be one of the best players in his draft class. This is his story. Rui Hachimura was born on February 8, 1998 in Toyama, Japan. The game of basketball wasn't a popular sport in Japan, so he first started playing basketball when he was in the seventh grade. Rui Hachimura was much taller than the other kids, and Gigi Sakamoto was the first person who recognized his potential for the game and invited him to join the team. Rui quickly learned the basics of basketball and began to hone his skills. Sakamoto's coaching and support were instrumental in Rui's development both as a player and as a person. Rui credits his coach Sakamoto for instilling in him the discipline and hard work that have become hallmarks of his approach to the game. As Rui continued to grow up and enroll in high school, he was much taller than the other kids, and he quickly became one of the standout players. He was known for his athleticism, shooting ability, and versatility on the court. With his combination of skills and determination, Rui helped lead the team to several victories and became a fan favorite. It was during his high school years that Rui began to draw the attention of college scouts. He was recognized as a top talent and was recruited by several top programs. After careful consideration, Rui decided to continue his education and basketball career in the United States, enrolling at Gonzaga University. He didn't speak any English going there which caused him problems with his SATs. After two unsuccessful tries, in the end, Rui managed to pass the SATs and enroll in college. Luckily for Rui, Gonzaga had a video coordinator on the team who was fluent in Japanese. That video coordinator would act as translator and teacher to Rui in the first season, as he struggled to adapt to the college game. Rui Hachimura took his job seriously, and he started waking up at 7.30 every morning to practice before going to classes at the university. After the classes were over, he also had a team practice and another individual practice. Rui was determined to become a basketball star. Unfortunately, due to his lack of English knowledge and understanding of the game, in the first season he struggled, averaging six points and three rebounds per game while playing under five minutes a game for the Bulldogs. However, his team had a lot of success. At that point, they had been in the NCAA tournament every year since the 1998-99 season. Despite Rui's struggles, the first year in college was a huge stepping stone for him, and he learned a lot about the game of basketball overall, and what it means to live in the United States of America. In his second year, Rui continued to develop, becoming a more complete player and a dominant force on the court. He improved in all aspects of the game, from his shooting to his defense, and established himself as one of the top players in the conference. He also improved his control of the English language, and he started making friends off the court. Rui Hachimura got promoted to sixth man of the team, and he averaged 12 points per game and five rebounds while playing only 20 minutes per game. Rui's junior year was a breakthrough season, and he became the star of the team. He was dominant on the court, showcasing his athleticism, versatility, and basketball IQ. He put up 20 points and 6 rebounds per game. Rui was drawing the attention of NBA scouts. His draft stock was rising with every game, and many experts were projecting him as a high pick in the upcoming draft. With his outstanding athleticism and his 7'2 wingspan, combined with his 6'9 frame, which had increased 3 inches since high school, he was getting compared to Andrew Wiggins and Giannis Antetokounmpo. In the modern, positionless basketball game, Rui was considered one of the unicorns who were able to do anything on the court. The growth and improvement of Rui Hachimura during his college career is what made the scouts believe he could reach new heights in the NBA. However, there were some glaring weaknesses in his game. His playmaking and decision-making were underdeveloped, which also meant he took some poor, contested shots that infuriate coaches. Also, there was a question about his best position on the court. Rui could play both the small forward and power forward positions, but he lacked a fundamental understanding of both of them. 
With his impressive college career, Rui declared for the NBA draft in 2019 and was selected ninth overall by the Washington Wizards. In his first season in the league, he quickly established himself as a key player for the Wizards, and he started all of the 48 games he played in the season, averaging 14 points and 6 rebounds per game in the 30 minutes he spent on the court. He was named to the NBA All-Rookie second team and was named the NBA Rookie of the Month in February 2020. Rui's second season in the league was even better, as he continued to improve in all areas of the game. He became a more consistent shooter, a better defender, and a more complete player. However, injuries continued to plague his career, and he wasn't able to stay on the court. In the second season, he started all of the 57 games he played in the season, averaging 14 points and 5.5 and rebounds per game. His growth was evident in his efficiency and his defensive consistency. His team, the Washington Wizards, continued struggling due to a lack of experience and injuries on key players, but Rui Huchimura remained one of the best prospects on the team and was one of the most consistent performers of the season. In his third season, Rui's injury problems continued, and he lost his starting spot to Denny Avija. Series of ankle, back, and knee problems continued throughout the year, and Rui Hachimura ended up playing only 42 games in the season starting only 13 of them. His game time also dropped down to a mediocre 22 and a half minutes per game, and his production on the court was limited. Rui averaged 11 points, four rebounds, and serious questions about his career path were circling about the NBA. In the next season, he was eligible for a contract extension, and he had a long and difficult road ahead of him to improve his reputation in the league. His game didn't grow as the scouts had hoped it would, the multiple injuries he had suffered had decreased his athletic prowess, and his lack of basketball IQ and defensive consistency still followed him. Rui Hachimura began his fourth season for the Washington Wizards, coming from the bench. Denny of Gia secured the starting spot ahead of him for that position, and the acquisition of Kristaps Porzingis meant that both the forward spots in the first team were locked down. Rui once again continued to suffer a long list of injuries that prevented him from catching any kind of rhythm. He played 30 out of 45 possible games for the Washington Wizards, averaging 13 points and 4 rebounds in the 24 minutes he spent on the court. The team refused to give him a contract extension and ended up trading him to the Los Angeles Lakers for Kendrick Nunn and three future second-round picks. Rui Hachimura is now in Los Angeles, playing with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, and he gets a chance for a new start in one of the most famous franchises in the league. In 2023, Rui Hachimura is far from the perfect player. He is a throwback, ISO-orientated, mid-range scorer, and he has failed to develop his three-point shot and is shooting a mediocre 33% on open catch-and-shoot threes. He still lacks defensive intelligence and consistency, and despite his massive wingspan and body frame, he is a below-average rebounder and an average one-on-one -on -one defensive player. Rui's playmaking and shot selection are his biggest concerns at the moment. Playing on a LeBron James team, Rui has never averaged more than one assist per game in his career, and his shot selection has always been more than questionable. He loves taking contested, long two-point shots. However, despite all that, he can prove to be a decent player for the Los Angeles Lakers in the near and distant future. It doesn't matter if Rui starts for his new team or features from the bench. The Davis, LeBron, Hachimura, and two-guard lineup has a lot of defensive and offensive potential. Rui has never had teammates of his caliber, and if he can be a sponge and learn from two of the best players in the world, this could be a turning point in his career. With LeBron turning 38 years old at the end of 2022, and Davis being prone to injuries, there is a pretty good chance that Rui Hachimura will get the chance to be the first option on a Los Angeles Lakers team at some point. All he has to do is work hard, improve his game, and be ready for the moment. Who knows what the future holds? We might have the first Japanese-born superstar in the NBA.